Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box if you ever want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, meaning this could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay. We have adventures here and patience. This card has been so popular uh, this week. Um, several signs have got this card. And then we have patience. Out of the deck here is power and trust. So what I'm feeling is, is that somebody wants you to be patient with them. Like, I think you're really anxious about something, something changing, but they want you to kind of just wait for them, to not uh, push them, let them um, take matters into their own hands at their own pace. For your stone today, I was specifically drawn to Trollite, and I was drawn to this little angel. So some of you want to look at the properties of the stone or use it in your own meditations. The decks that I use are always listed in the description box below. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please figure out what needs to be known, seen, understood. The Four of Cups. You're feeling disappointed. Like you're really anxious for things to move forward, for things to change. Oof. The Magician. Gemini, Virgo, Energy. This is literally flew out in my lap. Um, you know, you see that this person has all the power, all the possibilities to be able to make these things happen. Knight of Swords, you're, yeah, you're anxious to communicate this to this person, for this person to take action, to move forward, to make some kind of change. Let's look at their thoughts, their feelings, and intentions with you. We have the Hangman, the Nine of Coins. And we have the Five of Wands. Okay. Under the deck is the sun, that's Leo energy, with the Eight of Cups and the Hermit, with Judgment, the Chariot, and the Four of Coins, Five of Cups. So what I'm thinking is that this person, they, they want to be happy with you. And again, take what resonates, leave it does not, if it's not your story, don't force it to fit. I feel like somebody's made a major change. And I think you're anxious for them to move forward with you and offer you something. But I think that this person is trying to transition from something very painful. I think they're trying to get their life in order first. It's important for them to kind of get a handle on some of this before rushing into a relationship with you. Though that is their intention, that is their desire. They may kind of still be going through some kind of conflict or some kind of legal battle potentially for some of them. I feel like this person's like walked away from something and they're kind of trying to Virgo energy here with the hermit, trying to kind of dig deep and look within and begin to heal some things, uh, understand something, but they made a very important decision. They've actually maybe physically moved from a situation or location, cancer energy with a chariot, and I feel like they're trying to get their finances in order. There's a lot of pain and like sadness here, but this person is beginning to overcome this. I feel like you're just kind of anxious. I feel like you may have been waiting for this person to physically move, change their situation, maybe leave behind something or someone. And you kind of thought that, you know, as soon as this had happened, the two of you were going to like rush forward together, but that's not necessarily the case. And again, this is a general reading. It can represent past, present, or future for you. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Like I say, With adventure, I feel like you're really anxious for the next steps ahead. You're ready to take this to the next level and just see what happens and, you know, begin to work together with this person to make these changes and be a part of every step of the way and build something beautiful with them and create this life and, you know, enjoy this. But it feels just like you feel like things are stagnant, things are stuck, you're four of cups, you feel disappointed, maybe you're a little bit rejected. You see that this person has all this power and all this potential to make things happen. I think you're trying to manifest this. Some of you are afraid that this person is just telling you things that you want to hear. Because again, I feel like you really anticipated, well, oh, they've left that job. They've relocated. They've sold their home. They've moved across the country. They've, you know, left that partnership. 
whatever that may have been, whatever that transition was. So now we're going to move forward together. It's all going to move quickly and smoothly, and it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. We're going to be happy together, me and you against the world, together forever. But it just feels like that's not really what's happened. They're not offering anything. And again, they may not, for some of you, if they haven't left yet, that may be just a, a message for you for the future to know that it's not going to just, you know, domino effect line up like that they're going to have to kind of get some things in order first that's what their plan is anyway uh, with the knight of swords though i feel like there's a lot of things that you want to talk to this person about i feel like you're really ready to take action and move forward and figure out what's going on with this person you don't want to kind of keep putting things on hold some of you may fear that you're an option. I don't think that's the case, though. I feel like this person just kind of dealing with conflict, trying to pick up the pieces, begin to rebuild something for themselves, taking time. They're wanting you to be patient with them. They want this. They, they do recognize they want you to have trust in them, that the two of you will be together. The hangman, you could be done with the Pisces. This person, though, they, they're just kind of like in a stagnant place. They're not really moving forward in their mind. They're just kind of taking some time. They need they need a pause. They need a break. They need to heal from the past before they open up a new chapter with you. Some of you, this could be reversed. I am getting a little cross-watcher energy here. With the nine of coins, you could be done with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They may feel like you're very financially independent, like you're very resourceful, logical, um, very abundant, very hardworking. They may want to like impress you. But they, like I said, they may be recovering financially from some kind of major loss. With the five of wands here, I do feel like there's some kind of conflict around them. Like they're kind of torn in their mind. They're kind of trying to sort through something. Like they did not anticipate this transition to be so hard on them emotionally. They like said there could have been kids involved for some of them. They walked away from something. It is an emotional situation. They're trying to take some time for themselves to kind of heal and recover. It's kind of like it's not fair to you. They kind of see it like it's not fair to you to kind of drag you into something when they're not ready to pursue it. They can't give it their all. They want to make sure that they can do that for you because you deserve that. They want you to have trust and faith and patience in them. life relationship you have known each other before and then we have trust the situation is calling for you to have faith and under here it says calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so you are manifesting this they are manifesting this as well you both do want this it's not like they don't want it it's just like they're trying to they don't want to drag you in the middle of something messy they want to get their life in order first they want to have time to kind of heal from the past you know They don't want to just put a band-aid on their heart and let you think that's what it is. You know, they, they need to be ready for this with you. What can you expect from this person? They have romantic feelings for you. They may want to like meet you somewhere. You're their wish. They want to build something with you. Some of them want like a home. and guide to look under here like they they want stability they want family with you they want to reunite with you they want to build something with you they want romance they want passion with you they're just trying to figure out how to make this happen they're loyal to you you feel like they're deceiving you perhaps you feel like they're just unsure about you that's not what it is they want this too they want to grow things with you they just feel like they need time to, to get things in order first. This could have been a really hard transition for them. Is there any additional messages, please, Spirit, about the situation or from their person? Wow, two cards. So, this one says, You may not always understand why things ha certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Yeah, exactly. You're uncertain about this now. You're anxious about this now. You want things to progress now. You're feeling frustrated or, or don't understand. You feel disappointed with the things not progressing as quickly as you want. But there's a reason for this. The two of you are going to be happy together. They want you to be patient with them. They want you to trust them that they just need some time 
to kind of mourn this loss, this transition, so that they can truly embrace it with you. And this card here says balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. This is about supporting this person on this healing journey that they're currently on. They're trying to overcome something. It's not easy, okay? That there there's a lot of pain. You know, let's just say that they made a major move. They left a job they've been at for 30 years. They left a marriage behind or their family. Even if they were not head over heels in love anymore, there's still emotions tied to that. It's still a huge transitional period for them. There's been a major life change for them. And I'm not justifying any negative actions, behaviors, etc. You guys know that drives me crazy. People do that. Um, but this person has, they are dealing with something emotional right now. And they do not want to drag you in the middle of something messy. They want this with you and they're just asking for some time to kind of grieve the past and move so they can move forward with you with, no, with nothing from the past still attached to them. They want to give this their all with you when they feel emotionally ready to do so. So be there for them. Be supportive of them. Be understanding. You guys... You know, you have this very deep spiritual connection, maybe past life for some of you. Maybe this is somebody from your past for, some, for others of you. But you need to have trust and faith in each other. All right? The obstacles will be overcome. That is what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.